Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, Tired Marine here. In this video, I want to discuss the latest patch notes in TCM as well as some very important issues that are actually game-breaking for me. And to be honest, almost turned me off completely from playing the game. Before you get defensive and think I'm going to bash on the game, the devs know this, that I, I do love this game. And the overarching gameplay design is absolutely amazing. I don't have any intentions to disrespect the devs in this video but I will be highlighting some things that are largely making me not want to keep playing this game at the moment. So firstly, let's go over the patch notes. Hold on as I switch to a display mode. Display capture. Here we are. Uh, where are the patch notes? Right here, November 7th. So yesterday, patch notes were posted. Let me... uh. What in the world? Me control plus. So you guys don't have any issue reading. I'll move myself a little bit out of the way. So the patch notes, uh, as you guys may know, if you do play this game, and if you did end up purchasing the Nicotero Leatherface uh, bundle, which is, as you can see, just the whole screen. Uh, <laughs> There was some audio issues uh, with that bundle where whenever you interacted with uh, objects in the game, such as tables or doors, or even in the post-game screen where Bubba does, or Leatherface does his little dance, it, it reverted back to the default chainsaw audio. And one of the really cool things about this DLC is the new chainsaw audio, because it was really well done. I do love the low rumble of it. Uh, they fixed it, so it doesn't revert back to that audio whenever you're destroying a table or a crawl space or a door, and that's amazing. Another thing that you may know uh, if you play this game a good amount is there's a gas station car exploit that was fixed on this patch. So you, if you're a victim or a family member that can crouch, there was a car in the back of the gas station map in the middle compound uh, where you could crouch and enter a vehicle, and if... Uh, there was family members who couldn't crouch. They wouldn't be able to follow you, and you'd basically be invincible there until you eventually do bleed out. But it's a it was a bad way that players ended up taking the game hostage. They also fixed some pixelated textures uh, on skins that didn't load properly in the game, and they changed a couple things that have to do uh, with most likely they're doing this to fix or try to fix a lobby dodging issue. So they changed player levels in lobbies because uh, they're now hidden. So you're no longer going to be able to see like a three or four stack of level 99 uh, players ready to destroy you in game. And also uh, they changed party icons in lobbies. So players who are party up will no longer display party icons in lobbies. Uh, they're not even displayed displayed in the player list, the scoreboard, and the match results. Now, I definitely do want to talk about these uh, patch notes. I think the lobby dodging issue probably will be fixed a little bit there, but I think a better fix, at least in my opinion, and this is just me uh, spitballing here, but most games, most games, I've never, it's, I mean, you can't dodge a lobby if you don't even go into a lobby. You know what I mean? So, like, in most matchmaking games, you just get into the lobby and you load into the map once everyone's loaded in. There's no having to wait for anybody to ready up or any of that. Uh, like, in, and it sucks, but it's an ASIM horror game. If you uh, relate this game to DVD, you don't even see the other side, at least as a, a survivor. You don't see the killer. So... If you're a survivor or a victim in this game, you're not going to be able to dodge just because you see that it's a perfect trio of family members that you don't want to go against. You don't see that it's a map that you don't want to play as. So if you don't even have to enter a lobby to see what map you're going to be playing on or see what players you're going to be playing against in the first place, you can't really dodge lobby. Now that would introduce maybe problems of people DCing as soon as they see a certain map or a certain family member, but that's whenever... I mean, it's, it's just, you're already in the game at that point. You might as well play or they DC and whatever. Uh, and I don't 
I, I definitely don't like DC penalties, so please don't do that unless there's a ranked mode. But that would at least probably solve the lobby dodging issue completely. Now, here is uh, just some posts, and we're going to go into this. Um, just some posts regarding... Um, uh, no, wait. Before I even talk about this post, and I'm, I'm not going to pull it up yet, but I was playing a match earlier, and I'll, I'll bring it up in the, in the edit. I was I was just playing on the update and it was crazy because it takes a long time to get into matches now. A Connie got killed by a cook. She DC'd and the whole lobby crashed. The whole lobby crashed. That is a huge issue for me. A huge game breaking issue because I'm just in the middle of a match. I'm doing actually very well. Uh, all things considered, someone DCs because they get killed. And the whole lobby server crashes. And you guys have seen this probably if you've watched my channel on uh, videos before. Uh, one, I think I was playing against a, a hitchhiker and I was looping him as Sunny. The whole lobby crashed when the Julie DC'd. Same thing still happens. It's horrible. It's horrible. It makes the game really just unplayable. Because first of all, you do have the lobby dodging issue. You have the time to get into a match issue. And then once you're in a match, when someone DCs, you don't know if it's going to happen. It's a coin flip, really. If someone DCs after they get killed, the whole lobby crashes. So it's like, why even get into a match at this point? It's it's honestly draining to try to do that, especially uh, as someone who's trying to get content for this game and trying to be positive for this game. It's draining. Uh, so there's that. Okay. I just wanted to look at the, the subreddit uh, at some posts. So this person, uh, it has, I don't think it has a lot to do with the update, but it, it does have a lot to do with, I guess, people getting tired of the game, I guess. So it's a sad day for a Bubba main. They started playing the game only a month ago, so it wasn't even, this was already after the decline in the player base. They've had a blast up until this latest patch. They've never been a do lobby dodger or leave mid-game, uh, but their experience apparently did spiral downward in just a day. I'm not saying I'm a legendary Bubba, but I'd sure put the hurt on victims on a regular basis and usually had a chance to punish the ones who would bully in the basement. Now I can toss that joy right out the window. So apparently, um, after this update for them, uh, every game, now they ma mainly have Johnny and Hitchhiker as teammates apparently, uh, but... Their, their teammates are just not caring anymore. They're ignoring the exits, and uh, it's just this Bubba who's having to try super hard and is getting tired of it. Oh, wait, look, there's a TLDR. Game became hot, toxic garbage overnight, and I'm having more issues as a family main than ever. Boo-hoo, woe was me. Level 0, Grandpa. Level 99, Vic. Level 0, Johnny Hitchhiker. At least he or she or they, uh, whatever, see that from their perspective, because they can't see the levels of their teammates. Their teammates seem to be playing like they're level 0, and their opponents seem to be playing like they're level 99, and he's not even able to level up Grandpa. Uh, so, and this may be an issue, or this may be a leading cause to the issue of why we can't find matches, because they said, um, and part of the language, uh, just don't read it if you don't like reading bad language are they going to fix the pc game pass version or what this was posted three hours ago and it's the eighth as of recording this video and it's 10 10 54 a.m right now uh they want to play they can't so no one on the game pass can play apparently and that's really bad i don't know if this uh oh wait times got worse finding a match Zero. For the first time ever, I've had to wait past five minutes to match, uh, find a match with a group of others. This is getting ridiculous. This was happening to me last night. I was trying to get into a game with friends, and we couldn't get into a match, so we ended up having to just play a different game together because we still wanted to play games together. Uh, and this is another issue. I've had eight lobbies disband because there aren't enough people playing to fill a lobby. This whole patch has been a mistake and screwing. Over PC players doesn't help. I don't know what the PC uh, thing is, but yeah. Anyways, guys, 
that's pretty much all I want to talk about in this video because I don't want to go off too many rabbit holes. Just know I do. I love this game. I love this game. I love it so much that I actually do have the Nicotero bundle because it's amazing. And the sounds are amazing. And I want to see this game succeed. But right now in the direction that it's going, it's just not. Even with the latest teasers and stuff like that, the, the player base is just... It's still going downhill. It's still going downhill. Like, uh, let me, let's just go to Steam Charts right now. And look up Texas Chainsaw Game. And this is not a... Like I've said in past videos, it's not a full representation of, of the health of this game. But the fact that I can't even... I can't even find a match... Half the time when I'm playing with friends last night. So check this out. The uh, playing seven minutes ago, only 1,191 people on Steam. Apparently no one on Game Pass can play, so we, we can assume that's zero, right? Uh, it's safe to assume it's zero because I've seen multiple posts about it. I've even seen the official TCM account post about it. My game doesn't launch on Game Pass on PC. We're currently looking into this and all that sort of stuff. So, this is the whole life of the game. We've had a max all-time peak of 17,141 players, and now this is the last 7 days and 48 hours. It's slowly declining, guys. Look at this peak right here, and it doesn't even end up going above that bar, even after a huge update that fixes a lot of things. So, yeah, guys, tell me, guys, what... What do you think the state of this game is? Are you going to even be playing this game? This game has to do something. I don't know. I really hope whenever they do release a new victim and family member that things change for the better. But right now I'm not seeing it. Anyways, that's, that's the video.